Hi kids. Today we are going to learn about verbs. Verbs are action words. They tell what a person, animal or thing is doing or has done. Let's look at a few examples. The man is walking his cat. Walking is a verb or action word in this sentence. It tells what the man is doing. The mouse runs with the cheese. Runs is the verb or action word in this sentence. It tells what the mouse does. Mary is skipping. Skipping is the verb or action word in this sentence. It tells what Mary is doing. Anna jumps for joy. Jumps is the verb or action word in this sentence. It tells what Anna is doing. Mary is reading a book. Reading is the verb or action word in this sentence. It tells what Mary is doing. Let's look at a few more examples of verbs. Shop. Hop. Sing. Play. Sweep. Swing. Drive. Laugh. Cry. Sit. Dance. Sleep. Love. Drink. Eat. Paint. Knock. Let's play a game called Spot the Verbs. Look at the words on your screen. Can you identify the verbs? You can pause the video if you need a little more time. The verbs are cook, clap, wash, crawl, and hug. Let's do it again. Can you identify the verbs? The verbs are so, march, clap, fly, and bathe. One more time. Can you spot the verbs? The verbs are shake, climb, dig, and knit. Great job. Thanks. Hi kids! Today we are going to talk about singular and plural verbs. Verbs are action words. They tell us what a person, animal or thing is doing. Verbs can be singular or plural. For example, runs, runs. 
talk, talks, say, sings, drink, drinks, and chase, chases. But how do we know if a verb should be singular or plural? We look at the subject. If we are talking about one person, animal or thing, we use a singular verb. If we are talking about more than one person, animal or thing, we use a plural verb. Singular verbs in the S. Let's look at a few examples. The baby creeps. The dog runs. The boy plays. The girl skips. The snail crawls. The girl reads And the chef cooks Plural verbs do not end in S Let's look at a few examples The children jump for joy The animals dance The donkeys eat. The frogs sing. The birds fly. And the children play. Now that you know how to identify singular and plural verbs, Look at the following sentences, and select the correct answer from the brackets. You can pause the video if you need a little more time. The women shop, or shops, at the supermarket. The correct answer is shop, because we are talking about more than one person. The women. Let's look at another sentence. The baker bake, or bakes a cake for the party. The correct answer is bakes, the singular verb. We are talking about one person, the baker. Look at this sentence. My mother drives, or drives very fast. The correct answer is drive. The singular verb, because the subject, my mother, is one person. My parents water or water the plants every day. Correct answer is a plural verb water, because we are talking about more than one person. Are you ready for the final sentence? The boy walker walks to school. The correct answer is walks. The boy is one person. Great job! Always remember, a singular subject takes a singular verb, and a plural subject takes a plural verb. Hi kids! Today we will be looking at past tense verbs. Verbs are action words. They tell what a person, animal or thing is doing or has done. Past tense verbs tell us about something that has happened before now. It could be something that happened years ago, or just yesterday. 
We add ed to some verbs to show past tense. Let's look at a few examples. Wash, washed. Cook, cooked. Walk, walked. Play, played. Watch, watched. And brush, brushed. When the verb ends with the letter E, we add D to show past tense. For example, smile, smiled. Bake, baked. Love, loved. Dance, danced. And skate, skated. In some instances, when the verb ends with a Y, we change the Y to I and add ED to show past tense. For example, cry, cried, carry, carried, buried, buried, and hurry, hurried. In some instances, we double the final consonant before adding ED to show past tense. This is generally done when a one-syllable word ends with one vowel and one consonant. For example, flip, flipped, skip, skipped, jog, jogged. Hug, hug, clap, clap, and stir, stirred. Now that we have looked at different examples of past tense verbs, let's see how we use them in sentences. My mother shopped at the supermarket yesterday. The baker baked a cake for my sister's birthday party last Saturday. My brother walked to school on Monday. The postman hurried to deliver the mail yesterday. And last night, my sister cried all night. Notice the use of yesterday, last night and so on in the sentences. They show that the actions took place in the past. Hope you enjoyed this lesson on past tense verbs. In the next video, we will look at irregular verbs. Thanks for watching. Hi kids! Today we will be looking at past tense verbs. Verbs are action words. They tell what a person, animal or thing is doing or has done. Past tense verbs tell us about something that has happened before now. It could be something that happened years ago, or just yesterday. We add ED to some verbs to show past tense. Let's look at a few examples. Wash, washed. Cook, cooked. Walk, walked. Play, 
Play. Played. Watched. Watched. And brush. Brush. When the verb ends with the letter E, we add D to show past tense. For example, smile, smile. Bake, baked. Love, loved. Dance, danced. And skate, skated. In some instances, when the verb ends with a Y, we change the Y to I and add ED to show past tense. For example, cry, cried. Carry, carried. Buried, buried. And hurry, hurried. In some instances, we double the final consonant before adding ed to show past tense. This is generally done when a one-syllable word ends with one vowel and one consonant. For example, flip, flipped, skip, skipped, jog, jogged. Hug, hug. Clap, clap. And stir, stirred. Now that we have looked at different examples of past tense verbs, let's see how we use them in sentences. My mother shopped at the supermarket yesterday. The baker baked a cake for my sister's birthday party last Saturday. My brother walked to school on Monday. The postman hurried to deliver the mail yesterday. And last night, my sister cried all night. Notice the use of yesterday, last night and so on in the sentences. They show that the actions took place in the past. Hope you enjoyed this lesson on past tense verbs. In the next video, we will look at irregular verbs. Thanks for watching. Hi kids! Today we are going to talk about irregular verbs. Some verbs do not take the ed, or d, to form their past tense. These are called irregular verbs. There are many irregular verbs in the English language. Let's look at a few examples. The past tense of drink is drank. Eat. Eight. Run. Ran. Sleep. Slept. Drive. Drove. Sink. Sank. See. Saw. 
buy. Bought. Right. Wrote. Sell. Sold. Fight. Bought. Take. Took. Sing. Sang. Give. Gave. Hi. Hid. Blow. Blue. Fly. Flew. Dig. Dust. Draw. Drew. Hurt. Swim. Swim. Teach. Taught. And sit. Sat. Some irregular verbs do not change their form. For example, cut, cut, split, split, wed, wed. Thanks for watching. You can replay this video as many times as you wish to learn these irregular verbs. In our next video we will look at modal verbs. Remember to subscribe for much more.